We met prisoner 1039699 at the Southeast Correctional Center in Charleston, Missouri yesterday afternoon. I'm Dean. Mike Anderson. Nice to meet you. Mike Anderson is nine months into a 13-year sentence for an armed robbery that took place in 1999. He should have gone to prison in 2002 after his conviction and unsuccessful appeals. But Missouri made a mistake. It forgot about him. They said it was a clerical error. Clerical error? Yes. yes. That's the whole thing? Is a clerical error? That's what they say. Instead of ordering Anderson to prison, the state mistakenly thought he was already there. Anderson said he waited and waited. Well, what did you think would happen as the days and weeks and months and years went by? I had this sense in me that everything was okay. No matter what was going to happen, that everything was going to be okay. And to this day, I still have that. If Anderson had gone to prison on schedule in 2002, he would have been released last summer. Instead, that's when the state realized it was attempting to discharge someone who'd never served his sentence. Law enforcement didn't have to look very hard to find him, though. During the last decade, Anderson lived life by the book. He built a home, started a business, coached football, married Laquana, and started a family. Do you wonder how this could possibly have happened? I, I think about that all the time, every day. Anderson was rearrested last July at his home, which now he might not visit again until 2026. So this is a unique case from your point of view. I've never seen a case like this, no. Tim Lomar is the current prosecutor for St. Charles County where the armed robbery occurred. He wasn't in office then, but is puzzled by how it was handled. My first reaction was, how did this happen? And somebody messed up. Somebody messed up big time. Lomar says there's no question that Mike Anderson is a rehabilitated and responsible man today, but... It's very difficult for me to say, we can create an exception, and we can allow somebody who has found a way, whether it was by his own doing or otherwise, to not have to serve the sentence. Anderson's attorneys have filed a motion to have him released, arguing incarcerating him now is cruel and unusual punishment and that the state waited too long to put him behind bars. They note that even the man who was robbed back in 1999 has said Anderson doesn't deserve imprisonment now. The state attorney general has until next week to respond, and a court could schedule a hearing next month. What do you think your chances are? I'm a man of faith, and I, I believe my chances are in the hands of God, 100% favorable my way, and I have to believe that. I can't believe anything else. For CBS This Morning, Dean Reynolds, Charleston, Missouri. What do you think, Charlie? I think the men should get a pardon or something. That's right, I under think Under these circumstances, That's A, right. because the, he was convicted, but the man who was robbed said, I don't think he should go to prison. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, the fact all... that the victim is speaking on his behalf says, says volumes. They need to figure something else out. Yeah, the prison... and, and, and the, go ahead. Prisons are already full. Exactly.